I know many of you are also excited to hear from our next guest, spoken word artist, Bo Sia. He's an Oklahoman who is cast in the talent-rich lineup of Russell Simmons' Deaf Poetry Jam, and in fact, Bo will be performing in this auditorium again on March 12th, but this is his first performance here. Here he is, Bo Sia, with an original poem written for this first Fred Korematsu Day. Bo? I guess I am tall. <laughs> nice photo. I want to look at myself 20 feet tall as I'm talking to you guys. Yay. <laughs> this is uh, because as we celebrate his life, we understand that that life should find itself in our own lives and in our own work. This is legacy living on. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. A quote we all know. Well, then please teach me exactly what it is about this history thing that I should learn because I do not want to be one of the doomed. Teach me. All the dates of events, the accumulation in their chronology, and the actions which made them of note. Teach me all the players who lived in the past, their role in the chronology, and the actions which participated in the forming of former times. Teach me all the reasons for action, public and private, personal and professional, and all the ways we viewed those actions and reasons in the past's present and in our present looking back on when we've never been, but don't stop there. I want to learn from history, not just approved curriculum, not just what's published or presented as whole truth on the internet, and certainly not just what an underpaid, overworked teacher has energy for in a 45 student classroom pressure to raise test scores for that understand their place in the course of events. Someone, anyone, everyone, teach me the undocumented stories of those whose experiences contributed to now. Teach me the impact of changes in technology that influenced more than the history of gadgets, gizmos, and great leaps of intellectual creations. Teach me the paper trail of markets and currency affecting the choices of nations. Who made money after the Haitian Revolution? Who needed the end of apartheid economically? Who knew what to invest in before the tragedies often taught to us as without warning? So many questions. Because the scope of history reveals that we still have so much to learn. Teach me how to strip the past of fixed numbers to make use of similarities with my now. Teach me what signs, rarely recorded, when combined, eventually lead to places I no longer wish to return to. Teach me why civilizations always do their fall of Rome thing, even as they're shown the fall of Rome thing. Because I'm living here to learn from the transatlantic slave trade, not just to learn about the transatlantic slave trade, the uprising in Egypt, and the hate speech that encouraged the camps in World War II, not only to prevent the doom no one would allow themselves if they knew what actions to take to prevent it, but also with the knowledge that Fred Korematsu is one human being. Our history involves us all. You know it requires everyone's participation. Our heroes help us continue the work. Our history shows us how much work is ever needed for change. Our future is in the shared work we've been doing since the beginning. This is a moment in history, and it will pass soon. But we have an opportunity to use this moment, not just the words presented on stage, to get closer to that human possibility together until the words, those who do not learn from history are 
doomed to repeat it become outdated, a cautionary tale unnecessary, as our knowledge of history grows beyond what we are told, as our understanding of history becomes more than disconnected details, as our use of history transforms this archaic quote into the words, those who are connected to all of history will benefit as they make history. Thank you. It's been an honor.